Hey team, how you going? Hey, so a few dramas we've had uh, just in the last couple of days, uh, a few electrical sort of uh, gremlins. Uh, we've already spoke about the you know, resetting uh, the lithium batteries or resetting the BMS. Okay, so we're not going to go over old ground again. So not getting any charge from the vehicle, okay, into the van, into the DC to DC. All right, um, and some sort of solar charging uh, problems as well. Uh, so what we're going to do is going to quickly talk about the basics. Um, I guess if you try and think about your 12 volt uh, feed, if I uh, use the analogy of a garden hose, okay. So think about that as um, as a sort of you know easy way of thinking about it so if you're not getting water to the other end of the hose from the tap all right there's obviously a blockage somewhere okay so if you think about it, so sort of simple make it a bit simpler all right so we're going to start at the car okay so with all 12 volt okay all positive wires will be fused all right so in this case we look down here we've got a little um in this case is a 70 amp uh midi fuse all right so there it is there so that's the first thing we're going to check if we're not getting any power to the rear of the vehicle or into the dc to dc so we'll just put that little cover back on there okay all good righto so there shouldn't be any joins righto from that point righto to the end of some plug on the rear of the car Right, unless your order a Lex done a dodgy and he's used all these offcuts. All right, so let's go down to the Anderson. Okay, so this is an exporter call where back to the garden hose again, we can get a blockage. All right, so any joins, okay, and fuses. Right, as you can see, you see the two pins inside the Anderson plug there, right? They sit nice and proud and stick all the way out. Just check it and make sure that one of these pins hasn't dislodged right and push back right so then you're going to get a bad join you're not going to get a flow all right when you do put your anderson plug in from the van right you should hear a nice audible click right to make sure that it's all the way home all right okay so obviously that plugs into the caravan all right and again check the pins on the caravan side as well that they haven't moved back right also make sure they're nice and clean so you get good contact okay you can Unscrew the plug, righto, um, or dislodge the pins there, righto, and you can give them a nice little, get a little, uh, a very light sand, righto, and you can also give them a little spray of uh, WD-40, but make sure they're nice and clean so you get good connection, alright. That obviously then runs from the van, righto, through the wiring in the van, alright, and the next port of call to check your flow all right it's going to be these fuses here okay again positive fuses that run into the dc to dc all right so you check those fuses there now i'm sure that if you give a uh, java a ring right they'll be able to tell you what type you are and probably where you can source them right it's a good idea to carry spare fuses those types there which are slightly different to the mini fuse that's in the car that we saw earlier all right and obviously we check the dc to dc as i said we've already gone through about lithium battery uh the btec reset all right now the next thing we're going to do is to make sure now your dc to dc all right different models all right well obviously we're in the sirocco all right yours is, could be uh, underneath the bed all right and this control panel all right in some models all right Sirocco on the rear here and others are going to be in the front boot all right uh, like the Solera for example all right now the next thing you want is you need to make sure that your Anderson breaker okay labeled there all right that is in the off position all right so this small lever here is down for it to be on it must be up all right obviously my van's in storage so i've got that switched off you'll need your main switch on all right and then 
the other breaker is for power and as you can see that one's off all right now the other thing we need to do is to make it easy on the system now whenever you're getting ready for a trip all right plug the van in the night before and get everything up to 100 percent that includes your fridge all right so get your fridge in the van get it working fill it full of your cold stuff you pulled out of the fridge and get the van up to the batteries up to 100 percent and get the fridge up to speed all right this will save a lot of work from your Anderson plug on your vehicle and obviously your crank battery all right it's going to save a lot of energy because everything is already up to speed all right so get it up to 100 percent and also by doing that you'll identify any problems okay hook up the car and identify any problems before you leave home all right and make sure you're carrying those spare fuses now with the solar again if you're having problems you're not seeing team to getting any solar okay again you want to check the solar fuse are right, running in to the dc to dc and by plugging in at home powering everything up you're also checking your ac is working all right to get everything up to 100 percent now other than the fuse there all right or the dc to dc needing a reset all right there could be a problem there could be a line break between the solar panels all right and the input to the dc to dc all right in which case you're probably going to have to uh have that locked in by a professional all right so give jail a ring and see if there's someone in your area that may be able to uh, sort that out all right we have had a couple of solar panel problems um in the last couple of weeks all right where we had a bad connection on the roof where the wiring came out of the solar panels all right heading down into the dc to dc okay so check all those things all right and make sure you're up to 100 percent before you drive out the driveway all right when you uh, go through your checks okay so again main points to remember the fuses right on the tow vehicle and in the caravan and make sure you check your breakers all right that your breakers uh, haven't tripped all right for individual appliances right you got your resettables there whether they be like the sirocco set up here all right or in the front boot in the case of the solera and some of the other models all right i hope that helps um but again yeah make yourself a pre a pre-check before you go camping all right get the vehicle hooked up that way you can stick your head in the door of the caravan make sure that the dc to dc is working all right and all your fuses are okay and you're getting power to where it needs to go anyway i hope that helps guys see you later bye